Welcome back to Meadow Park here at Boreham Wood as Arsenal are level with Bristol City after a rocky start to their third game of the WSL season, conceding after six minutes to Abby Harrison's sweet strike from range before Jordan Nobbs continued her scoring form in front of goal just before half-time, pulling her side level. The captain leading by example. Bristol City will be pleased that it's a far better scoreline than this fixture last year at half-time when they were trailing 5-0 at the interval, going on to lose 11-1 that day. There's certainly a sense of change about this game for Bristol City's fortunes this season after a torrid start to the campaign. But there's still another 45 minutes to play out and to hold on to a share of the spoils or perhaps once again find the advantage. Last look around from the officials and Arsenal get us underway for this second half, kicking from right to left on your screen. And it's they who, since falling behind, have been slowly growing and getting better and better in this game. It's been quite a sluggish start, really. The opening 20 minutes or so, not too fruitful in front of goal in terms of creating chances. Get the feeling now, though, that Joe Montemuro will have had a word with his side at the interval. And we'll be telling them it's time to get the foot down, get the skates on. Whatever you want to call it. This is Arsenal's time to shine and to try and get another emphatic result in a league campaign. Here's Ford stepping inside. Williamson has basically been playing as a central midfielder for large parts of this game. Meade on the far side, closed down by Perfield. Clipped into the box, away but not well away. Williamson thought about the shot. McCabe. Meet him up. Trying to open up space, just trying to clip it towards that far post too. Just couldn't find the figure of Van der Donk, who was closest to it. Been really good at making those runs from deep. Let's just see that Vivian Miedemar, just on the left side of that front three, that's quite fluid with Ford and Beth Mead. All of them happy to play a central role, all can play wide. Well, you would say that Mead is the natural winger out of the three of them. Can't see any changes, haven't been notified of any changes either at the interval. We'll try and get a confirmation of that for you. Harrison, again forceful. She tries to drive her side forward. Looks like Wellings has switched to the right flank as well for Bristol City. Free kick against Bissell. So I'll take it quickly. Another handball that the youngster will feel once again. She wasn't really able to avoid. Ball ricocheting up at her. As the wind has got a little more blustery in this second half, the rain continues to come down. Hardly ideal conditions for playing slick, fast-flowing football, but the surface will certainly have some speed on it as Nov sends it wide. Van der Donk. Neat step over. Nobs trying to win it back on the edge of the area. Miedemar having her shirt pulled, stood strong and sends it wide. Schneider back, goes back. Definitely an increased intensity to Arsenal in the first few minutes of this second half. Ford. It's the goal scorer, Nobbs. Valti sends it wide. Schneiderbeck. Away only as far as Valti. Trying to find a way through just to unpick the lock on this defence. That's a lovely ball in. Well stretched for two, and Arsenal have the lead. 
forward pounces. And Arsenal's early pressure in this second half pays off. Was just asking to be touched past the keeper. It's that whipped in delivery. Slipped across the 18 yard box and all the Australian had to do was stick a foot out and guide it past Sophie Bagley. It's frustrating for the away side after all their hard work in this game, but Arsenal have their advantage. Just too heavy for the path of Harrison. Poor touch initially by Bissell. Just hope now for the away side's sake that the floodgates don't open. Long ball for Midama to chase. They are to get back into this game, Bristol City. You do feel that something a little more than we've seen since they took the advantage will be needed. It's been waiting to capitalise on mistakes, but you always imagine that Arsenal would tighten up and have less of those as the game continued, as they got into their flow. Long ball by Williamson. Something for four to chase, but it just slides off this surface away from it. inside it was aimed for knobs but collected by Mastro Antonio ball over the top for Bissell to chase the teenager will keep up and try and hamper the keeper here as Sinsberger was under pressure but there was no further push from any of her teammates BT now has all the time in the world Daniels feeding it up the line. Palmer trying to scoop it away. Meet him up. Relatively quiet so far in this game. Of course, she had six against Bristol City last season. Arsenal patient on the edge of the final third. Just sit in with a little bit too much for Van der Donk. Great little layoff. McCabe, meet him up. Just as many bodies as they can get around the ball at the moment for Bristol City. No way through. Williamson, lovely fake. Sends it wide, forward. 
Neymar dispossessed again in the centre of the field. It's a similar defensive tactic that you see all over the world when high quality sides that are expected to press and have their way with and no disrespect to Bristol City but slightly lesser opposition in terms of calibre smother the heart of the pitch force the ball wide and try and defend for your life on the crosses it seems to be the way that Bristol City are going about it today Humphrey lays it back Wellings unable to bring it cleanly under control. Long ball over the top. Something again for Harrison to chase. A little bit of a mix-up at the back as Mead and Zinsberger just didn't quite have the chemistry and cohesion for a moment. Falls kindly eventually into Bissell. Back to Harrison. Arsenal quick to recover. Evans high up the pitch, winning a throw. Deep ball into the box. Wellings will try and keep it alive. Support behind her initially. Daniels's cross was high and not too handsome, and Zinsberger was under no pressure as she collected it. Cape's pass just about found it. Target. Ford. Made him up. Ford wants it back on the edge of the area. It goes square across to Mead. Support on the overlap once again. Bagley able to collect. Good block at the near post by Evans. Possession doesn't last too long for the away side. Valti. Flicked forward by Miedema. Just doesn't have the craft and the touch there to find Nobbs, who was bursting into the space. The manager said that he wanted to see more from Jordan Nobbs, see her being more efficient and effective. We've certainly seen a fair bit of that in the latter part of the first half and the start of this second. Ball over the top, dealt with by Beatty. Very competent return alongside Williamson for Jen Beatty. Hasn't really put a foot wrong so far. She will be elated to have this sort of performance at the end of the day, if it can be maintained. It's a lovely knock through to Ford. Has support in Nobbs, trying to square it across. Ford again. Keeps the attack alive somehow. Three defenders, still Ford, saved by Bagley at the near post. Very good, strong stop from the Bristol City keeper. It's Caitlin Ford's persistence. With three defenders around her, it still fell so kindly back in front of her once more. Arsenal upping the ante. As the conditions get more torrid here. It's not slowing down the Gunners right now. They seem to be firing on all cylinders. Williamson's inside. Right idea, but Humphrey was there to nick it away from Vanderdonk. Really enjoyable watch 
Danielle van der Donk in this game so far. She's tried to be almost everywhere, heart of midfield, sometimes bursting through the middle to get up front. Zinsberger goes long. Niedema flicks it on, but there's nobody else there. I'm not sure it was intentionally left by Palmer. Didn't have the right outcome, van der Donk. Cut out before me could get onto it. Perfield doing her job well and getting back. Long ball over the top. Harrison just can't take it in stride. That was the pass she's been looking for. Just dropped off the shin. That paid off in the first half for her, a piece of control like that. Doesn't work that time. Forward. Daniel stands her ground. McCabe floats it in. Straight down the throw to the keeper. It's an urgency from the away side as it's high into the sky but very good control by Katie McCabe who was quick to get back and just keep an eye on the run of Wellings. Volts. Volti once again. Just no curve on the pass from McCabe that time. For her too, Katie McCabe, it's a good day. First start of the season in the WSL. It's a sub in the victory against West Ham. A good performance from her. She's combined well with this lady, Ford. Meet him up. Trying to be provider. Knobs with the strike. And another good stop. At the near post, denies Arsenal. Cleanly struck by Jordan Nobbs. He's got a real eye for goal today. Still a corner to come. Five inside the area. High ball floated in. Williamson nods it down. Cleared away. Nobs. That one is overhit and out of play. What a good stop that was by Sophie Bagley once more. As a change is coming for the away side and some fresh legs into the fray and those fresh legs will be needed because Abby Harrison the goal scorer is replaced by Salmon Harrison who has worked her socks off throughout this game very isolated figure at times, just chasing long balls down. She has run her race and will run no more. She gave her side the best start they could have possibly wanted. And now Ebony Salmon will take on the charge as the front forward, really. Bissell and Wellings have switched back to their right and left flank positions, respectively. Arsenal switch back into gear and get into opposition territory. Helty. Van der Donk. Looking for somewhere to go, Humphrey, but 
everywhere she turned, just for a moment. Red shirts all around her. Salmon will chase Williamson under pressure. She hasn't been too good under pressure at times, Williamson. She's had a couple of errors, including the one that led to the goal early on. And she's had just that pocket of space. Her distribution has been excellent today, but just might be something for Bristol City and Tanya Oxtoby to look at in the latter part of this half. Schneiderbeck again trying to find that very small gap between defenders and keeper to lift the ball into. out of play. Again, a mistake by Williamson. Bristol City have got the shirts forward to try and capitalise. Mr. Antonio giving it back. And it's given away forward. Pass straight into her path. Ball over the top. Good chase as well, though, by Evans coming across. Williamson closed down quickly. Salmon hampering as well, just keeping the pressure on Beatty. Williamson once more. And again, the centre back. Switching sides to McCabe. And it on. McCabe. Ford flicks it on. Meade at the back post couldn't contort herself into a position to be able to latch onto it. You see the Arsenal gaffer there, Joe Montemuro, taking his seat back in the dugout. I wonder if he will be pleased with what he's seen in terms of a reaction to that loss to Manchester City in the FA Cup. This Arsenal side without key figures like Kim Little this afternoon. And they've eventually found the advantage that they've been craving and almost expecting, really. I think many have been expecting them to come away with three points. Pandedonk, meet him up. Just not got the shooting boots on today, does she? She's had a couple of half chances from distance. All of them have been relatively far wide of the target. So it's just a problem here for Sophie Vagley. Which will not please... Bristol City fans at all. Keeper has made some fine stops today. 
Huge game for her to bounce back as well after the defeat last season on this ground that was so emphatic. Benedict Harland is the reserve goalkeeper, the Norwegian. Just see Wellings talking with her manager. Tanya Ox to be the 38 year old. Took the reins here in 2018 and has been certainly trying to emphasize that the jury shouldn't be out on this Bristol City side just yet. Nobody should be jumping to early conclusions after the first two games of the season. This performance, I think that's a very fair comment. Palmer sends it forward, comes straight back to the heart of the pitch. Good touch by Humphrey. Here's the substitute, Salmon. Looking to use those fresh legs to try and get down to the byline. There's nobody really to support her. She's kept at bay by McCabe. Still only a one goal advantage for Arsenal. This is a game that's nowhere near done just yet, even though the visitors are struggling to create much going forward. Perfield has to deal with the danger as she's done so many times on that left flank for Bristol City this afternoon. She's been really good and there might be an attack down that left flank hit. Wellings unable to get through Williamson. Double change, getting set for Arsenal. BT. Schneider Beck goes wide and Arsenal are forced backwards. Ford unable to get herself out of the hole on the opposite side of the field. Nobbs, excellent challenge from Evans. Time that to perfection. Unfortunately, the clearance from her teammate wasn't quite as good. Valti. Meet on the edge of the area. A chance to occupy the centre of the field. Miedema cuts inside onto that right boot. Thinks about pulling the trigger, but too many in the way. Nobbs. Forced to turn back. The purple shirts have regrouped and got behind the ball. It's a lovely touch by Van der Donk, trying to get it back from Miedema. Might still fall to the number 11. Turned away from danger. That's a clearance that's only going to benefit Arsenal, really. McCabe wants it back. Katie McCabe with the left trigger. Fantastic save. Bagley once more. Back up after her knock in this second half and with a superb stretching save with the left hand to steer it behind for a corner. Williamson starting to make her way off. Noel Maritz getting set to come on. As is Myling Good. 
wonder if Schneiderbeck will move inside. Williamson will come off and Maritz, the Swiss fullback, might move to right back. Meilinger immediately going into that front post position. It's fizzed in the set piece. And there's a tangle as Ford was scrapping with her marker on a free kick. Is a substitute good? Okay. Stroked into the path of Ford. So much space suddenly now closed out. Trying to find that pullback. My side trying to find that clearance. Van der Donk. Miedema has a go and another good stop from Bagley who's keeping her side in this right now. They just can't beat her for a third time still. They want this third just to try and give them that cushion to seal this out. McCabe. Nobbs. Solid block. Perfield just limping after that one, but again, she's in the right place at the right time. Valti clips it forward. Another chance for her. There's the Swiss substitute gut. And for Beatty. Salmon. Running at this new look Arsenal defence. Salmon going round the outside. She's in on goal hit. Fine stop. Zinsberg is still alert and ready. She could only go alone, the Bristol City forward. It's just a warning sign again for Arsenal. Great ball over the top. Made him out, just ran a little wide. Four behind her. Miedemar going alone, and perhaps a little selfish. Danielle van der Donk was waiting in the middle of the 18-yard box. Ford was in space behind her. Miedemar seems desperate after the six she scored in this fixture last season to get on the score sheet once again. Mr. Antonio. Makes her way off from the heart of midfield as the away side keep the changes coming to try and keep the legs fresh. It's been relatively quiet as Ella Mastrantonio.
Chloe Lugazo, the one to come on and replace her. Okay, back to her keeper. Nobs. See Wayside's ball. Jordan Nobs just takes that in the back of the head. Getting towards the last 10 minutes or so. There is still hope for Bristol City. down by the substitute good turn by Bissell untidy shove in the back though Valti felt it knew with her experience to go down and take the contact get her side out of the situation Firing in towards Ford. Meade takes up the charge, cleared away by Evans. Arsenal slowly edging almost every single player into the opposition's half. Good, sends it wide. Back again. Lovely one-two on the edge of the area. No room to try and pull the trigger, though, for the Swiss player. McCabe. Ford. McCabe again. She was calling for it. Now she's got to do something with it. Great keep ball this from Arsenal. Van der Donk. A support on the overlap. Almost like they're looking for that intricate pass through the middle. Nobs trying to provide it. Meade. Lovely quick feet, but just thwarted by the fourth defender around her. McCabe can't get onto it initially. This all keeps up the chase. McCabe gets around her. Ford's header. Comes back the other way. It's only a chance again for Salmon to put some pressure on the Arsenal defence, and she does well to win the ball. Good scrap with Schneiderbeck there. The Austrian centre back does enough. Valti sitting deep once again, almost playing sweeper for the moment there. Okay. Arsenal in no rush if they are going to be unrushed. Again, the closing down just isn't hurried until you get to the latter part of the pitch. Gut sends it across. Vanderdonk has support. She gets shoved slightly, the outstretched arms of Evans, nothing given. 
Nobbs. Mead. Into the gap. Marit sends it across. The ability to keep possession and be patient may be what Arsenal use to see this game out. Salmon trying to turn once again, but Schneiderbeck is there and more than a match for her. for the intended target. Another chance for Bissell on her own slightly. That's a lovely turn to find space and a good pass into Salmon. There's a ball in behind as well. It's just out of the path of Wellings who was making that charge. Good dispossessed. Miedema on the charge. She could wrap this up here for Arsenal. Miedema has been so desperate for the goal and she finds it late on. She's wanted it all afternoon. And after six in this fixture a year ago, she at least has one, but it could be the vital one that sees all three points staying with Arsenal. Simple stuff as Bristol City pushed bodies forward so much space in behind the defense and a very very cool finish from the Dutch woman They might still go looking for more hit. Might go for the jugular. Just out of play. Got two players down. It's forward for Arsenal. Just on the edge of the 18-yard box there. I think that's... I was about to say I think it's Evans, but it might be Humphrey. Just trying to see from our vantage point who's just picked herself up. as Nobbs will make her way off after an excellent afternoon's work. Motto Wuben Moy comes on for the last few minutes or so. In the meantime, both players that were down on the deck have been checked out, back on their feet. to wait to come back on, according to the officials. In the meantime, Bristol City have a throw. And they do not seemingly have much time left to try and salvage something trailing now 3-1. Pistol. Oh, 
optimistic long ball over the top and even the substitute Ebony Salmon looks at it and says I'm not going to chase that one down Four minutes of stoppage time to be played. Four minutes for Arsenal to go looking for number four. There's Mead. Hangs it high. Mead him up. I was thinking about attacking it. Van de Donk pulls the trigger. Well blocked. Humphrey standing her ground and getting in the way. Mailing good. Lovely skip pass across the deck, meet him up. Eventually getting it after the slight slip. Mead. She'll have a go. She'll send it off the mark. Arsenal's perfect start to the season looks set to continue. Looks set to be three wins in three in the league. Got the WSL Cup on Wednesday away at Ch against Chelsea. The next WSL encounter against Brighton on the road before the North London derby against Tottenham. Bristol City take on the London Bees in the WSL Cup in the week before a Midlands double of Villa and then Birmingham. And they are still going to be without a point after three games, it seems. Salmon. One last thing for the away side to shout about, perhaps. Did really well to cultivate some space for herself. There still might be a chance. Poorfield has a go, it wasn't far away. But safe enough for Zinsberger to watch sail past her left hand post. Salmon just can't react to it. Would have been a difficult one anyway. Momentum was against her. Mead. Well played by Evans. You have to say Evans and Perfield in particular on that far side of the pitch have done really well. Great chemistry and connection between the two just to cover for each other. Should make a point of mentioning Sophie Bagley between the posts once again for Bristol City. Some superb stops from the young keeper. Could have been a far worse scoreline were it not for some of her fine saves. Still could get worse as the effort ricochets off Palmer. Arsenal keep marching on. Three wins in three to start the Barclays FAWSL season. It wasn't the easiest victory 
on home soil against struggling Bristol City, but it was a victory nevertheless. Abby Harrison opening the scoring for the away side after just six minutes before Jordan Nobbs made it three goals in three games in all competitions with a fine strike just before half-time to level the scoring. Caitlin Ford getting her second of the campaign on 50 minutes gave Arsenal the lead before Vivian Miedemar's fifth of the league season so far wrapped up all three points four minutes from time. It finishes here, Arsenal three, Bristol City one.